Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's time again for the knife of the day. This is the series where I go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. <sighs> we spent a lot of days, over 230 going through my Spyderco collection. By the way, I just posted yesterday a new video Going over the Spydeco 2018 product guide that just came out a couple of days ago using the knives that I have in my collection. I talked real fast. It's still a long video, but go check it out. You'll see a lot of knives and I walk you through the catalog. It, the catalog is all only online, uh, so I don't have anything in my hands. If you want to check out what Spydeco will be delivering in 2018, then uh, go check it out on Spydeco.com. But today, the knife of the day, we continue with some Chris Reeve knives. Today, the knife of the day is the boss. It's the Umnamzon. The boss, it means boss, Umnamzon. <laughs> Um, and man, when Chris Reeve, 20 years after the Sabenza, Chris Reeve wanted to create a very strong knife. He said he wanted to create a fixed blade that you could put in your pocket. And let me tell you something. He pretty much did that with the Umnamzon. He really did. This is a thick hefty knife it is the boss out of his collection and it is so sturdy and so well put together i'm starting the chris reeve knife collection first i'm going to go through all of the plain jane knives the standard knives i've already posted one on the classic sabenza now we're going to umnamzun we'll move on to all of the plain janes and then we'll move on to some Browse Blade knives and some Microtech out the front automatics. And then we'll bounce back between Chris Reeve, Microtech, and Browse Blades. But the Umnamzon, oh my goodness. I remember first getting, by the way, you'll notice that this Umnamzon does not have <laughs> a tail on it. <laughs> A lanyard. All of Chris Reeve knives, except for uh, the smaller knives and a couple of other knives, but most of the standard plain Jane knives have a lanyard with them, like this. When you see me talk about a knife and the knife doesn't have a lanyard, my first four Chris Reeve knives, I cut off the lanyards because they wouldn't fit in the one drawer I had for my knife collection. <laughs> so I have four Chris Reeve knives without lanyards. Those are my earliest ones and of course my smoothest as well. Uh, I've come a long way from one drawer to uh, five Pelican cases full of knives. So the Umnamzon is just great. Although it's one of the plain Jane knives, at least in how I call it a plain Jane knife, it does come with great texture on the titanium scales on the show side and a little on the back as well which is really nice makes it nice and grippy this is the newer umnamzun the older umnamzun while this has a big pivot the older umnamzun had a even bigger pivot what would you say a little bigger than a dime size pivot flat looked real nice a lot of old school chris reeve folks hated that he went to a newer design and gave up that pivot. But he did, he's always um, improving on his designs. I don't have an older version of the Umnamzun. The other thing the older version had on the lock side is it did not have this travel stop right here. Of course, the travel stop is there so you won't extend the frame lock further than it needs to go and then getting it out of shape a lot of people don't like that because they're so used to the old ones without that stop 
again, I'm a newer collector in the past three years. I only knew Umnum Zones with that stop. I'm fine with it. You know, I don't extend that much. Chris Reeves, how he creates his knives. You hear people talk about the tolerances. It's really hard to extend this unless you're just crazy. I mean, it takes, to me, almost just the right kind of pressure to release that integral frame lock. Just a real nice design, nice knife. The uh, solid titanium, you can see how solid the two slabs of titanium are. Only two screws. You'll notice with most Chris Reeve knives, he just has two screws. Yeah, to open up your knife if you want to work on it. He believes his tolerances are so good that you could take it apart and put it back together and it's fine. Um, he even gives you the screw and the grease in the package when you buy the knife. The clip is a standard clip. You'll see this on the, 20, on the Sabenza 2125, the small Sabenza. You'll also see the clip on the new Encosis, big and small. The difference, though, is on the Encosis, as you'll see as we go through this series. Instead of lined up on the lock bar, it's tilted like that. That's how you can tell the difference. Man, just opening and closing this thing, it's so sturdy. To me, this knife has the most tactical blade shape on it as you can see hollow ground s35 vn steel that's what chris reeve rocks if you don't see damascus then you know it's and it's a newer chris reeve knife it's s35 vn steel just a real nice knife you can see just how nice it clips up now I have to admit something. This thing was just gave me fits opening it. You know, I had started collecting with Spydecos and the Spidey Hole. I was so used to them. I bought a Sabenza um, 21 and then a Sabenza 25 and a small Sabenza. Then I got the Umnum Zone. And I had trouble. It has two lugs right here and it has some rubber to help when it fits into the handle up there. It gives you a little bit more security. Obviously, the lock, the frame lock gives you the security, but it fits. See how it fits right in there? But man, it's so close <laughs> to the handle that it was really difficult to open. Bugged me out until I looked in the box when I got this and inside, I don't know if he still does it, but inside it had instructions for opening it. I guess I wasn't the only one, probably the only one admitting it, <laughs> but I wasn't the only one that had trouble. And it's just, you know, you slide your thumb down and you pick it up like that. But what a wonderful knife. It is so sturdy. Whenever I handle it, I feel very secure. That's the thing with a lot of the Chris Reeve knives, the Sabenzas and the Umnumzun, you just feel like it could do anything. With this knife, one knife, you could pretty much do anything you wanted to. It has S35 VN steel, 3.7 inch blade. It's a big one. And you feel it. It's five ounces in your hand. 3.7 inches. The total length is 8.4 inches. Like I said, this one is right hand. Chris Reeve does not have the clips that you can move all over the place four-way or two-way. You have to buy, if you're a lefty, a left-handed Umnumzun. They are for sale. You'd have to buy a left-handed 25 or a left-handed small Sabenza to get the clip and to get the orientation for the left hand. That's one thing he doesn't do. That's one reason why the productions are so well done because he just focuses on certain products and tries to do them as well as possible. Yes, there's a lanyard hole. It does come usually with a lanyard. This, my friends, as we begin our way through <laughs> the Chris Reeve collection, this, my friends, is the Chris Reeve 
Umnam Zan, the boss. Chris Reeves' idea of putting a uh, <laughs> fixed blade in your pocket. There you go, compared to the Sabenza and compared to the small Sabenza 21. You can see the size. Let's see if we line this up a little better. There you have it. That is the Umnam Zan. We do the knife of the day Monday through Friday. Don't forget to catch up and check out the 2018 Spyderco catalog video that I just put up with just uh, the tabletop ends up with too many knives. So you get to see a lot of Spyderco knives and I talk about the modifications and the variations of knives that Spyderco will be offering in this upcoming year. Monday through Friday, it's the knife of the day here on the Keith Kevin Ken channel if you enjoy this don't forget to thumb it up it just keeps me going i do this right before i run off to work also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications it's true over 70 percent of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed subscribe it just helps me out it really does also once you subscribe turn on that bell then you won't miss any of the videos you'll know when i post a video you wouldn't have missed the 2018 catalog video that I did last night. Everything's on the playlist. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.